What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Talking to Jordan in the Car. <laughs> nah, but it's real. Nah, but to be real though, we're going fishing. Um, I gotta stay local today. I'm kind of tired. Uh, I had a long night last night and I had things I had to take care of. But we are gonna go hit the pond right down the street where we catch eight pounders. You know how we do it. But today, I just need to catch one fish. One fish. Maybe it'll knock off this tiredness out of my eyes. Look, look I'm tired. But yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Let's get started. Let's catch a giant. Who thinks you can catch a giant? Hey, if you think I'm gonna catch a giant, leave a big thumbs up on this video. Anything over, if we catch one over five, everybody that watches this video better leave a thumbs up. Anyways, let's get to the pond. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Hit the little notification bell. Make sure you always are on top of it. Make sure you're always on top of the videos. But there's like, I don't know, 30 bluegill right there. Maybe 50. Decent sized bluegill at that. So anything I throw to do today needs to be a bluegill imitation. Definitely need to make some changes though. It's the best bluegill imitation I got tied on. But there are quite a few bluegill right over there. I think I'm gonna have to tie on a jerk bait. Might leave the spinner bait on or go rattle trap. These fish are going to be feeding on moving fish. I was supposed to go out to the Dallas today, but Had some things come up, so couldn't get out there. Actually, I was gonna go to Cascade Locks and Stevenson, try to fish Ashes Lake and uh, <clears throat> Rock Cove, I think that's what it's called. There's one. Can't tell you how good he is. I'm at the top of the mouth though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you guys have been seeing me fish this lake quite often, but Fun little lake. Look at those fish now. Even these smaller fish are getting fat. Nice little guy though. He's in your gully, nothing in his mouth. Something in his stomach though. <laughs> nice little fish. Let's get him out there. Later on. Alright. 
So they're still chomping. Dude, this spinnerbait is just the ticket. It must just be like the perfect color. It really must. I just cast, I, I don't think I was facing it, but I just cast over here towards the stick. A couple cranks in, just got crushed. I wonder if there's another one over there. It's just a really good bluegill imitation, I guess. These gold blades. Drag was set a little loose on that fish. I was a little worried. Then I saw my blade spinning, so I knew I had him in the top of the mouth. Pretty cool. It's nice when you can come to your local pond and catch fish. I need to really buy more of these spinner baits though. Cause they kill it out here. I'm gonna show you guys this spinner bait. This is War Eagle. But I have All right, I'm curious at how close I am to matching the hatch. So I know there's bluegill right over here. <coughs> so I'm gonna pull out some line because I can't cast this on a bait caster. Got a crappie jig on. Oh, I missed him. He smoked it. Okay, you guys are gonna see why these fish eat this spinnerbait so well. Oh, there's a baby bass over here too mixed in. Let's see if I can get him. All right, this explains so much. Well, that, that, that spinnerbait is that bright orange. Take this guy off. Luckily, I have this little crappy jig on me. That's the same thing I was catching those trout on the other day. Bam. That's why they're eating that spinnerbait. That makes more sense now. Kind of tells me what color I need to throw. So I'm right off here. Oop. Somehow I got tangled around my GoPro. Got him. <laughs> Goodness, they're eating this little bait. So that was one type of sunfish that was in here that's the other type of sunfish that's in here and i think there's one more it's a more much darker sunfish though but i'm not sure if they've pushed up yet got them
But yep, lots of these guys pushed up on the bank right now. Really beautiful fish though, really beautiful fish. Picked it up, swimming with it, got him. This will be the last one we're gonna catch here. It's a fat bluegill, pregnant one, it's a female. All right, well, now we know what we're looking at here. Now we know what the bass are looking at, what they're trying to eat, all the good old stuff. All right, y'all, and oh boy, is it time to shave. <laughs> we got one, that's the plus side. I had another bite, couldn't capitalize, but uh, I know he was there. Nevertheless, we got one, so that's all that matters. We got you a video. And I got to catch one. I'm pretty happy about that. Man, it really is time to shave. Holy cow. I look like a caveman. Nevertheless, I think next time you see me, I'll be in Cascade Locks. I'll be in Stevenson. I'll be somewhere up there catching giants. Because I need to catch giant smally. It just needs to happen. It has to happen. Time to go to the store. Time to go home. I'm tired. I might go to sleep. I won't even lie to you. <laughs> So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Beware Bass and make sure you hit that subscribe button share this with your friends Oh throw a like down there because I did catch one so Didn't catch the five pounder, but you know I caught one otherwise I Am Beware Bass and otherwise known as Jordan Bayless. I'm out deuces